Good morning, everyone. You've got an elephant? A baby elephant. And he's got a baby elephant? Uh -huh. Hi, Daddy. Good morning. Uh -huh. And you've got the mama elephant? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. It's so cute. This morning, uh, Luke came up to Teddy. He was sitting snacking in his high chair, and he gave him the little baby Duplo elephant and was like, Teddy's elephant. And then he ran off and grabbed this bigger elephant and got into his high chair with his elephant. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And that's a baby elephant. My plan for today is to make a really big breakfast before we take Bailey to school. And uh, one of my favorite things to make for breakfast time is hash browns. And I wanna show you how to, I make hash browns that are not slimy. It's very important to me that my hash browns are not slimy. So I'm gonna show you how I, how I do that right now. And I've got two little sous chefs here. And these books. Are you my sous chef? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You're gonna help me cook today. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, you're my sushi chef. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're having sushi for breakfast today. That does sound delicious. Sushi. No sushi. Mm -hmm. You want hash browns? No. No. Mm -hmm. Hash browns and eggs. Nope. <laughs> well, that's what we're gonna eat, so. Sorry. You have Cheerios? So to make hash browns, you're gonna need some potatoes, and you're gonna wanna peel those, and then you're gonna wanna shred those. I'm just kidding, I'm using one of these things. Which is still pretty magical and easy. And here is the real secret to cooking perfect hash browns. It's, it happens before you cook it, actually. You gotta rinse these potatoes out. When I used to make hash browns at home, they'd always come out kind of soggy or slimy, and that's because there's a bunch of starch in potatoes. So I leach some of that starch out by rinsing them and soaking them in water, and that seems to do the trick. The next thing is to just cook them on, I'm gonna cook them on a griddle, but you can cook them on a frying pan if you don't have a griddle. And they turn out nice and golden and delicious. Do you like hash browns? Daddy. Teddy likes hash browns? Do you like hash browns? Are you laughing or crying? What's happening? What? Jacob likes hash browns? Yeah, he does like hash browns. You do have water. <laughs> and he has this formula? Yeah. While that cooks, I am actually working on a little project outside, and I'll explain why in a second, but I gotta go check on it real quick. Mm -hmm. So I like to cook the bacon outside. Sometimes I'll cook it inside, but I like cooking it outside more because I can cook all of it at once and it doesn't make the house smell like bacon, which I know most people like that smell. Jessica doesn't like that smell. And she would never ask me to do this, but sometimes I'll cook it outside so she doesn't have to smell it, but the kids still get to eat it because they really like bacon. So, everyone wins. Another thing I like to do is section off everything, kind of split it up into spatula sized pieces so it's easier to flip.
And there you have it, non-slimy hash browns for Bailey. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. It's for everybody else too, but she was right there, so I, I gave it to her. And here's yours. Thank you. <gasps> strawberry, wild strawberry plate. <laughs> oh yes, a very special plate for Parker. The barbecue bacon is done. It looks delicious. Can I have some? Yeah. How is breakfast this morning? Good. Good? What's your favorite thing? Good. Bacon. Bacon? You fueled up, Jake? Ready for the day? Um, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Excellent. How are the hash browns this morning? They were good. Thank you. Are you having veggie bacon? Mm -hmm. Is it yummy? Delicious. Mm -hmm. So we are on our way to take Rue for her bath. We sometimes give her baths. I have a really cool tool for doing it at home. Um, it's kind of like a carpet cleaner for dogs. <laughs> but um, it's, it, it's like that's what it is. It's so bizarre. But it's it's um, we don't use it all the time. We like to take her to the groomer occasionally for like a nice solid bath. So that's what she's getting right now. Um, I don't think she's getting any sort of cut unless it's like a maintenance cut. Um, by that I mean kind of like making sure that her eyes can see and that her tushy isn't covered. What they, they call it a, what do they call it? A feet, face, they call fanny, it, and feet. Yeah, I call, they call it a feet, face, and fanny, which I know which is your... Which means different here. <laughs> yeah. It's a different word. It's We're a different word, but American it, it kind of covers the same zone. So I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter if you're in the UK or in the States. <laughs> it kind of refers to the it's same the location. Because doggies need that. They need to be able to use those zones and not have, you know, the, we don't have to talk about it too much. But anyway, that's we are, where we are taking Rue right now. And I'll do a little before and after because I love those, especially like after her bath and her blowout. She looks so fluffy and princess. So um, we'll get that for you in a second when we are at the location. All right, this is Rue's before. Oh, princess. Very, nice. Very cute. Very beautiful, beautiful coat. Where's oh. after? What a good girl. You look so fancy. Okay, and now we are taking Jacob to his Lego club. Woo, sunshine, hello. Um, so Jacob is a part of some Lego robotics club that I still don't totally understand, but it seems very smart and cool and he's pretty excited about it. So he goes to these meetings and um, he actually has his first big event this weekend. Do you want to explain that, Jacob? Or uh, Yes, yeah. so we are going to go to this competition. So we are making a robot that can do these certain tasks out of Legos and then we're gonna code it and it solves this little obstacle course and gets points and stuff, so yeah. So that's one of the fun things that Jacob is involved, fun and educational, I should say, but that is one of the fun things that Jacob is involved in this fall semester as part of homeschool, extracurricular engineering. Is it engineering, Jacob? Or is it just coding? Is coding uh, engineering? Well, I don't we even like know. build a robot and then we code it, so yeah, I think it's pretty much Lego engineering. Yeah, so he's doing that. And we haven't actually seen any of the stuff that Jacob's worked on so far, so this will be our first time seeing it as well, and we are very excited about that. Um, and it's gonna be a really cool event, so excited all around. There's other stuff going on too. So that will be coming up in a future vlog. We're back home now, and right here is our outdoor patio bench. It's made by Pollywood, and this is not sponsored at all, but I did wanna shout them out because they are standing by their guarantee, and this particular one cracked. You can see this crack right here. How it, this wasn't exposed before, and then let's see the back here. Oh yeah, see how cracked that is? So we sent them a couple pictures of this, and they said, oh yeah, we'll send you out replacement parts. Actually, we've updated the design on that to have more uh, support, so they sent us more than just the back. They also sent us, I think the base or maybe the arms or maybe the whole thing. I'm not totally sure. The point is we got this big box and 
we're gonna fix up this seat today. You guys ready to work on it? Yep. yep. All right, let's do it. Does she look good? Sure. We look beautiful. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh. That's it. Okay. So it looks like we got the seat and the back, and we're going to do some replacements. Okay. So what do we need? What tool do we need? Allen wrench. I got a couple of those. Here we go. Well, I didn't notice this bag in the box. The boys did, and they showed me that it came with uh, its own Allen wrench. But that means that I'll have one, and they'll have one, and we can get the job done faster, right? Yes. Let's do it. What? Duncan, can you get the cushions off of here? No. Thank you. Parker, it's not done yet. Okay. All right, we got two guys working on this at the same time. I think you might be tightening it. But this is left. Try and go the other way. Oh no, you're oh. you're doing it okay. Oh yeah, I am. Is it is it coming undone? No. Yeah, see? Look. Oh wait. Do you see that? That was a butterfly. Oh yeah, mine is coming undone. Space coming. See it. I'm almost there. Me too. Now what do we do? Well, I think we need to do these two down here. Okay, I'll do On that. both sides. So you can kind of see here that our seat had one strut that goes through here, one support, and the new seat has two of those. There's one here and one here. So this will be the new seat. And I guess, I think that this pulled down on this part of it and made it split. But we've been super happy with this patio furniture. Uh, it is made of a material that is looks kind of like wood, but it's more resistant to weathering and fading. The table here is from this company, so is the umbrella, and all these seats, and then all these seats over here, which are kind of, you know, a mess right now because we're working on some construction. Construction, yo! Construction stuff? I'll do that side. Okay. All right, we got the seat starting to go into place here. It's looking good. Two struts. They both wanted to be the one that tested it out. So on the count of three, they will each sit on a cushion. Ready, here we go. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh, is it comfy? Yeah. Did you guys build a bench today? Yeah, half of one. Half of one. So while Christopher has been out building with the boys and Luke and Teddy are in nap, I've been working on our homeschool stuff and I've actually been working on this for like months. You know, you order the curriculum, you kind of, we've unpacked it and kind of gotten it set up. But now I'm trying to schedule out our days and I kind of took for granted just all of that, all of that because I scheduled the kids in, in a lot of, like extracurricular online courses that I think are really important, but the timing isn't great. So I'm like trying to figure that out. This is not complete. So I have to like rework this a ton, but this is how I'm doing this. So right now, every spot where there's an initial, that stands for that person being booked in some way. Some of it is extracurricular and some of it is like core supportive, but not me. So like, 
the boys, the, the two older boys have um, spelling that they do online with an online class. And Duncan has this first grade group that he's been in since it was preschool, so he's gone preschool, kindergarten, and first. And I, that's kind of weird because Duncan is actually technically a kindergartner. Like he, according to a public school schedule, he'd be starting kindergarten right now, but he is working at the first grade level because he, he we're just going by how he's advancing. So I, I feel like that will, you know, correct itself over time, probably, maybe not. But right now he's doing first grade level school. So I know that that is a little odd, but he's technically not a first grader, but don't tell him. He, I, I was talking to him about it last week. I was like, you know you're going into kindergarten, right? And he's like, no, I'm first grade. <laughs> okay. So he is doing the first grade stuff and he is in a class that's called first grade that he goes to every single day. And he does that for like 45 minutes. It's really sweet. Um, and that's online and with a lot of the kids and, and the teacher that he's been with for years. So that's really, really sweet. Um, and then we're also doing a first grade curriculum on top of that. But that's why this is so packed with stuff and it's important and it's really full. And I'm trying to figure out how to take, like see how these days, these times are crossed off. Those are some classes that I was able to move to other time slots where other kids were already occupied because I'm trying to get as many blank boxes as I can so that I can have uh, my own like half hours and hours where I'm working with all three at the same time. In part because we're doing a lot of read aloud based learning. So I'm going to be reading a book and then each of the three boys will split off and do the language arts related to that book, but kind of on their own levels. Same thing with science. I'll be reading and like doing the main lesson and then they will have worksheets and the worksheets will address like on their own personal levels. So <laughs> now I kind of have it, I'm working it out like this. And again, this is super rough. This is not like the plan but it's looking like that as I'm working this all out. So I went and I took the chart <laughs> that had all the initials and then I took the blank spaces and I tried to find consistent times where we could be having lessons on a routine. Um, and it's working out okay, but I feel like I still need to, like I'm still fine tuning it and it could still be better. So I'm trying to get that really pretty solid before we go into school time. Um, the kids have been picking up lessons. They're like all pumped to do math early and all that. So they're like starting to pick up those things. And I'm like, okay, because we're kind of just having a slower start to our school year. I think we like to do that in general, like start a little, but not have like a really strict routine until a couple weeks in. And actually it's funny because Bailey is in high school now and they seem to be doing the same thing. Like they've had, she's had a lot of going to the school and not necessarily consistent classes as it will look like in a couple weeks. So I thought that was really interesting. That wasn't how high school was for me when I went to public high school. You kind of, you had an orientation day, <laughs> freshman year before high school, and then you just kind of jumped into things. So hers has been a, a really nice start. I think they've done a really good job um, with how the school has presented like entering high school. So I think that's gone really well. She seems to be doing very well from my opinion, but I'm also gonna let her share that from her perspective because I feel like that's her story to tell. So um, when she feels like it's an okay time to do that, she'll do that. But I'm just kind of letting that evolve on her own because I think there's a lot of pressure, you know, to put how you're feeling out there into the whole wide world and then not to know how that's gonna impact what you're doing in the moment. And we do that ourselves. I mean, there are lots of things that we keep to ourselves, Christopher and I, um, before we're like emotionally ready to share it or if we are ever are emotionally ready to share it. So um, yeah, I totally, I, I totally get that. And I, we've been kind of encouraging her slash supporting her in doing like a slow <laughs> um, share or if an if ever share of how it's going. But I, but overall, I will say, <laughs> like no spoilers or oversharing, but I'm I from a parent's perspective, it's going well. And we'll see how it goes from we'll so <laughs> we'll see if there's more beyond that to tell, but I don't know. So so this is what I'm doing right now. Um I wish 
that I had more open slots in the morning. That's the thing that I'm trying to get worked out. I don't care so much about the afternoon, but I feel like the morning, especially with these kids, they love to just like jump into it and, and go for it with work. <laughs> um, so that's what I was trying to get a good amount of time for. But some of the classes that they're doing as supplements online are really important and they're only in those morning hours. So I'm trying to figure out how to work around that. That's that. <laughs> Hi guys, so I know I haven't been here for a while. I really miss you guys, I love you. But I have been taking a lot of classes and I love it, but it's been a lot of work and I haven't always been able to be in the vlog very often because, you know, I have a lot of work to do and I'm really enjoying it. I love school so far and I've just been really busy. I'm taking a whole bunch of different classes. I'm taking high school classes. I'm taking a college class and I'm even taking an online class. Um, so I have a lot of stuff I'm doing right now. I'm really sorry I haven't always been able to be here and I really miss you guys. So, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs>